It is a with great pleasure and honor. I welcome Dr. Captain Amrinder Singh, the Chief Minister of Punjab. Let's give him a very warm round of applause. How has this term been different from your first term? Was it in some senses, did you find the state more difficult to handle as compared yes, to absolutely. that? Absolutely. Because and we, what was that? We were bankrupt. We <laughs> had no money. And uh, we had problems from, from employees because who hadn't, they, they had a new system of employing people where they, uh, uh, it was not a salaried structure, it was some sort of stipends given. I've got 42,000 employees now which I have to regularize. So they were irregular employees. Then uh, over 50% of our scientists uh, we don't have. So there's shortages everywhere, problems everywhere, money is being the sole, the, the main criteria. So all that has taken us a little time to stabilize. Not that the situation is better now, but we are certainly seeing the brighter side. Things are improving. Well, you said that the state was bankrupt and you took over, but you've made a whole lot of campaign promises. Have you been able to implement any of these things? Let me tell you what our situation was. We were 2 lakh and 16,000 crores in the debt, uh, in the red. And uh, that is what we had to start with. But yes, we made them and we have made making good our promise. For instance, jobs we have created. I've got these figures here that were just done today. Um, 6 lakh 25,000 jobs. We count it on a daily basis. It's something like 735 or 36 a day is what the top jobs you are getting. Then we've already been able to give 4,736 4, crores to 5 lakh and 83 thousand 83 farmers uh, to pay off 2 lakhs. Now I know yeah. that 2 lakhs is not a solution. Yes. Uh, it is uh, it's better than 17 rupees a person, that's for one. <laughs> but, but, uh, but no. You see, you must remember that this has to be part of a policy. You have, you put up Dr. Swaminathan, who's one of our experts, a great experts. I mean, he's the one who brought the Green Revolution about along with Dr. Kame Singh Gill and others of the university. The fact is, when you put it up, he did it, you, uh, he put up a report. Now, you can't pick and choose from that report. You have to res re uh, accept that in full. So he, he made a very comprehensive sort of a report, but that you don't do. So then what do you expect the farmer to do? Now, this two lakhs is just to assist him because our um, suicide rates were going up very high. So these were things that we had to somehow come up with some answer for that. But isn't and we this, did this. Uh, if I'm sorry if I'm interrupting you, isn't this somewhat of a band-aid solution? Because what Punjab really requires is, is an you know, a revolution in terms of structure yes. of agriculture. This is exactly what, it, what I mentioned. It is a band-aid solution. Uh, this is only to try and help those people who are Desperate. When you're desperate financially, then you do desperate things. Thank you very, very much for you. We show <laughs> can you all. Bye Thank bye. you so much. Let's give a very warm round of applause. According to you, what is the state of art in Punjab? In the visual arts field, the scene is really abysmal. I'm saying it with a sense of responsibility. In Punjab, People say Punjab is only agriculture, no culture. I wouldn't agree with them. Punjab has a lot of culture, various ways. We have our folk arts, folk crafts. We have our craftsmen. We have our you know, painters. And, but the only thing is we are not able to sustain them. Here. I think uh, what is very exciting is there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of desire to tell a story. There is uh, a lot of uh, desire to say it with a certain kind of energy and creativity. But what is really missing is the technique part of it. Now, if you go to the villages, I mean, and you see, you know, people full of energy, anxious, but channelization is what is needed. Now, in this particular city, Chandigarh, there should be small theaters, right? Small theaters where experimental things can be done. What would you say the biggest challenges in education in Amritsar, sir? The biggest challenge, of course, is uh, taking care of the primary education, school education, especially in villages. But then the most important thing is to motivate those people who are uh, uh, acting as teachers and the principals and headmasters. So I think if uh, uh, Amritsar 
has won this award in this category, probably um, whatever we try to do in the last uh, some time, uh, probably that has worked. Law and order is a category again, which as I pointed out to begin with, is a very tricky uh, sort of category. And we found that um, Patiala was one of the districts which actually ended up doing very well. Being a larger district and especially considering that it is a CM district. A yes, lot of law right. and order issue always creeps in. Presently, today as of, uh, there, there is a law and order issue. But the thumb rule of tackling a law and order issue as a district magistrate, what I personally feel is the coordination between our police counterparts and all the agencies. Were you surprised, sir? Or uh, was this like Jalandhar to jitega hi infrastructure? Frankly speaking, it was not a surprise for me in this category because during these two years, the north to south, uh, we had uh, two national highways which came up uh, like four laning. Last but not the least, the hub of NRIs and the most uh, concentrated part of Punjab, not only Punjab but India also, Doaba region, which has the maximum number of NRIs, it was not having any, any air connectivity. So I am very happy to share with you that uh, uh, with the new government coming in, within uh, 11 months, which is a record time that any domestic airport has been, uh, has functioned in such a short span of time. Sangroor winning services. We would uh, take services from the perspective of public service delivery. So district Sangroor, we have been working hard on improving uh, the pendency which happens beyond uh, the timeline. To give you an example, almost 80% of the public coming to all government, government offices across all departments, they go to Seva Kendras for getting the service from, uh, from, from the department. And so far roughly the data is about 60 lakh applications from the inception till now. So in District Sangroor, uh, about 10 months back when I joined, so we were somewhere about uh, positioned at 6th in terms of public service delivery. So gradually working, so as on date, our pendency is the lowest in the percentage pendency. छोटी उम्र में इतनी बड़ी-बड़ी achievements पा चुकी हैं। What next? और क्या aim रह गया life में? कोशिश यही है कि अपनी मंजिल की तरफ बढ़ पाऊँ और next मेरा target यही है कि I want to become a playback singer. Today's scenario, जो contemporary Punjabi music आजकल है, बहुत ही criticism है उसको लेकर कि उसकी जो quality dip होती जा रही है। what do you have to comment on that? Psychological uh, solution is the only solution for this scenario of music industry current. Forcefully, when you stop someone, the first thing is the audience. But when the audience is demanding, what can you do? If you don't take it, then you will come to the audience, then you will come to the audience, then you will come to the audience, then you will come to the rappers, then you will come to the audience. Because now we are in an international global village, we are not in a state.